What is up guys, it's Warren here from Blue Cloud Creation X and today is a new, completely new tutorial video and in our previous tutorials we went over the block paper series and that was the end of it and today we are going to go over something really cool so what we're going to do is that we're going to go over um, enemy uh, uh, enemies which move around a certain path so what I mean is if we go here I'm using the whole level at least a lot of stuff um, if you go into our sprites uh, let's take our ball as a as an enemy and what I'm going to do is, I think I have a bit of a hiccups, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial is, we're going to set some parts. So as if the ball is the enemy, where the enemy, where the enemy would move right here, then move here, then move here, then move here, then move here, move here, and then move. It just continuously moves in that direction. So let's get into it. I'm going to create a new script and I'm going to call this uh, enemy path pathing and then we wait for unity to do work its magic Okay, so it's there. So the next thing I'm going to do is, <clears throat> you know, my voice is a bit off today. What did I do there? I clicked on something. Uh, but anyways, we're going to create an empty game object. Um, let's reset the transform position. Um, I'm going to call this transform. Okay, now let's call this. waypoint and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this waypoint I'm going to create a little icon for it we're going to move uh, this icon let's move it here let's duplicate here move here so our enemy is going to start from here we're going to move there we're going to move there move there 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 so <clears throat> let's uh, go into ball. Let's go to enemy parting and open up our script. And I'm going to keep our start and update. Let's just move down there. <coughs> I'm going to serialize a field. Serialize field. I'm going to use a list. So I'm going to put a list of transform. So these are all of my waypoints. I'm going to put inside there. Well, let's call it waypoint. <clears throat> and then uh, let's serialize a new uh, field variable serialize field I'm going to call this move speed so this is going to be the speed of our enemy um, so I'm going to create an index for at what position we are <coughs> after transform and in our start method what I want to do is I'm going to get this transform of the enemy 
and what I want to do is I'm going to place it at the start starting position and then in our update script what I'm going to do is I'm going to call move oh, oh I didn't say move speed okay so move I'm going to open up the brackets ah this time I remembered I think I've been working in TypeScript for too long, so I'm used to not declaring my methods. So let's uh, we're going to create an if statement. So if uh, so, we want our index is less than or equal to. So basically, this is the check. So if our index is less than our total um, value, uh, I mean, of our total size of our array or list, well, we're going to do move to next. So let's use var. So var is just a way of declaring a variable. That you that the code knows what to declare it as. So I'll show you what I mean. So var, so I'm gonna call this target position that's equal to waypoint waypoint. So this is going to get off our first uh, And then we're going to create another one, which we're going to call we call this move this frame. So this is going to be the speed of our enemy. So the move speed time dot delta. Time and oh, my battery is running low. Should I charge it? Yes, I apologize for and it's charging. Is it charging? Yep, okay. So that's going to get our speed. So then we want to our transform dot position so we're going to use a little function called move towards you can check it in the unity docs it allows us to move from one vector location to the next location so this thing takes in parameters so the parameters we're putting inside is our current position uh, oh, it's getting a bit cluttered here, let me just open this up fully scroll down here so you can see transform that position um, let me actually make this next little line transform that position and then we're going to go to the target position where we actually uh, want it to go and then we're going to move and we're going to take in the speed so we're going to call this move this frame um, let's 
close and so when it actually does reach transform dot position is equal to so if our current position equals our target position uh, we're going to increase the point index okay else so what we're going to do is set this to back to zero so if it, if it's uh, gone to the final frame we want our waypoint to go back to zero so it'll start again looping through uh, that entire path so let's open up our unity Let's load our play. Oh wait. Um, we have a problem. Oh, so I didn't specify. Selected to. Now let's click play. Uh, index was out of bound, out of range, must be non negative and less than. Oh, so I didn't. My bad. I didn't actually uh, take my transforms. So let's go to ball. Let's lock this. Go to our waypoints. We're going to move this into waypoints. And ta -da, we have our transforms. Let's hit play. Ah, and we see our ball moving really, really slowly. But the enemy, if our ball is our enemy, it will move on that path that we set. So if we increase the speed, we see that our ball continuously moves. So if we actually had a character running around here, our enemy will move around that um, field and we can avoid him or jump around him but that's it for the tutorial guys hit like and subscribe this video uh, <laughs> hit like and uh, yeah subscribe to my channel guys for more upcoming tutorials and you can also play my first game in the description you can follow me on instagram and join our discord server in the description Thanks for watching guys, cheers, bye bye.